Well, hello everybody. My name is Rick Utzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we bring you the facts, not fluff. Today we're back in the studio. We have, uh, we've got kind of something cool here. This is an air gun that is a hundred year anniversary edition. Let's check it out. So before we get started, I just want to remind everybody that we have a Patreon page. We also have the Officer Club over at ErgonArmy.com. If you guys would like to support us directly, check those out. Links will be in the video description. What do you get? Well, you're going to get some ads-free early access content, and you'll also get some exclusive videos. So if you want some of that content, definitely, again, links in the video description. Today's unboxing is brought to you by Pyramid Air, guys. If you want to know about what we got here in the box, Check them out, pyramidair.com. Again, I'll have links to that also in the video description. Pyramid Air has been a sponsor of Aragon Web for so many years, uh, and we just really appreciate them for all they've done for us and helping us keep doing what we're doing. What are we looking at? Well, this is a Crossman. This is the brand new Crossman. Uh, this is a multi-pump, and it's the anniversary edition. There's only a limited number of these made. And we're going to take it out of the box. I'm going to be doing a video of this gun. I'm also going to be writing a definitive guide on this for Ergon Depot. So if you like some written content, definitely check that out as well. But let's get into it here. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got 100 years Crossman, established 1923. Gosh, 100 years. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, we've got some cool paperwork. That's from Pyramid Air. And we've got our box. Let's see here. This is probably one of those things where if you're really in to sort of nostalgic air guns, you probably want to buy one to shoot and buy one to never take out of the box. I have some really cool daisy stuff like that too. So uh, we have a serial number here, model number. Um, serial number is 723PLE0647. I don't know if there's like some uniqueness to that. I'm sure it's unique serial number, but I don't know if there's like one of so many hundred or whatever that kind of thing it is, um, or if there's a way to tell, but I'm sure there's there's gotta be something like that because this is, going to be a collector's item. Let's be super careful when we unbox this um, because I'm, I'm considering <laughs> holding on to this after I've done my video. Um, some very cool, oh, come on, let's be really gentle with it. <laughs> I don't wanna rip it. Uh, there's some really cool things with this, like it comes with the Williams Peep Sights, which is, you know, it's just awesome. <laughs> All right, so here's our box. Uh, we've got some, I mean, guys, if you're into air guns, you're into vintage air guns, and you're into the history of air guns, then this means something to you, right? All right. Um, I remember my first air gun, uh, it was my dad's that I got to play with, was a Benjamin Sheridan um, back in the day, right? 20, it was a 22 cal, was, it, was that the 392? Um, yeah, and it was Woodstock, and we had, a, we had a ball with that thing. So this is taking me way back here. Okay, let's see what we got in the box. Okay. There it is. So one of the things that makes this so unbelievably special is this wood stock, and it looks it looks like it's it's walnut. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> let's let's uh, let's not get too excited here. Um, we have our user's manual. Oh, it's it has a unique odor, a smell, not a bad odor is the wrong word. It has like this aroma of like real wood, like a really nice wood stock. Oh man, it's really pretty. Um, it tells us how to load it, tells us how to run it, tells us how to sight it if you're not used to open sights. Um, yeah, okay, uh, limited one year warranty. Okay, that's that's what we got there. So let's carefully take it out of the box here. 
Yeah, I'm already thinking, I don't know if this is going back. I might actually have to buy this when I'm done with it because, yeah, this is just too nice. Um, boy, it's got some heft to it. Let's carefully put the box down and then we're gonna take a look at this gun. And if I was thinking, I should have printed out the cheat sheet. In fact, let me do this. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna take a minute to go over there. Um, never mind, my computer's off. I will not do the cheat sheet. <clears throat> I thought about it, but my computer's off and I can't do it. But we will just look at it. Maybe the manual will give us all the cheats we need. Okay. Ah, okay, so what do we have? We have a steel breech, have a, obviously, a rifle steel barrel. We have the Williams peep sight, which is a precision sight. Gosh, that feels nice. Um, okay, so it's like a nice wood pumper. We've got some brass accents on it. I don't know if that's probably not brass, it's probably gold anodized aluminum, I'm guessing. I'm just guessing, though. Um, little plastic here would have been nice if that was metal, but hey, you know, the rest of it's looking pretty good here, right? Um, okay, so you have to cock it to, to pump it, so that's not putting any air in yet. Single shot, and we are looking at a 22 caliber, which is what I thought it was. It's light. It's very, very nice. It's a little short length of pull. Um, MB stock, it's a right-handed, um, let me take this off so you guys can see that. Okay, so it's a little, I don't know if that's brass or if that's like a gold anodized aluminum. Um, not quite sure. Um, it, it feels, I don't know. It's gold accented. Um, yeah, let's take a look. It's, it's probably like all the other like multi-pumps, you have like a minimum of three, max of 10. They're talking about 850 feet per second with alloy pellets. We'll see how that does when we get to our, um, our, our tests. We've got a fiber optic front sight, which actually looks really cool in the peep sight. That peep sight's gonna be interesting. I'm not gonna scope this because it totally completely ruins the point of it, doesn't it? Um, it does have 11 millimeter dovetail, so if you wanted to scope it, you certainly could, but this is so light and, oh gosh, I'm thinking squirrel, rats, we have a lot of uh, pests around here, so we have like um, mice and kangaroo mice and little rodents and stuff, and they're often like, I don't know, 15, 20 feet? maybe 30 feet, maybe? So something like this would be absolutely ideal because uh, you wouldn't have, you don't have to think about scoping, the scope and all that other nonsense. It's super light. This would be ideal for something like that. Um, it's got a cross bolt safety. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, when they talk about pumping the air gun, should really tell you how many pumps, right? Let's see. I need to get better glasses. Here it is. Um, it, this is at least two pumps, but no more than eight. Okay, so this is more like the Sheridan's. So uh, two pumps, no more than eight, which is cool. Um, yeah, I think it says use straight strokes while pumping the air gun. Twisting the forearm while pumping may cause the forearm to break. So you want to make sure that you're kind of deliberate and you're uh, you're not twisting it when you do it, just like they said. So nice and easy like this will be the key. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to put two pumps in it. One, two, and there you go. It works. Uh, I cannot wait to get this out and do some shooting with it. It looks like it's gonna be easy to clean, nice wide open breech, use like a patchworm through there. You probably wanna get some Pelgun oil or some silicone oil to keep your pump up and you know, keep your pump maintained. But all in all, that is a really, really pretty air gun. If you're into classic air guns, and you're definitely going to want to make sure you catch our whole, our, probably we're going to have more than one video, our, our whole series on this gun. Probably do a range time followed by a full review. So it is very, very cool. 
So before we go ahead and wrap this up, I definitely want to say thank you to all of our sponsors. You can check them out at www.airgunweb.com. I especially want to thank our Patreon members and our Officers Club members over at airgunarmory.com. And lastly, but certainly not least, I want to say a huge thank you to Pyramid Air for sending this out and, and letting us spend some time with it. Guys, that's going to be it. My name is Rick Hutzer here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.